Uh, yep, that's it. Cool. So you got a latch down here. Okay. Got that's latch that's latched. Side, that yeah. is latched. But also you've got one on your left shoulder, which is a little pin here. Yep. A little pin that comes out there. Yeah, yeah. See I it? gave that a little nudge sure with the arm yeah. to make sure. Cool. That was in. Instruments. So I think it's 340 feet here, I think, top of my head. Something like that. Put that on. Yep. Uh, so we're on Q&H. We'll pick one up anyway. We'll get service off somebody on the way out. That looks good. Pito covers removed. Engine. Uh, so we can do a mag drop now. So try and keep hold of the stick. Yeah. Right, just good habit because this one flops to neutral. I'm gonna give it a bit. Uh, yeah. So RPM. Gently up to three thousand. Best with your hand. If you put your hand on top. Oh yeah. And then you can kind of roll it in with that piece. There you go. That's it. Again, just check. No knocks, bangs, any smoke or anything like that. Cool. And then we'll try a mag drop. Okay. So we're looking for less than two hundred, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Good drop. Back up. Two. Good drop, back on. We'll check the idle, so I'll draw it all the way back. And then just pick it up above 2000. Right, cool. Fuel, so we've just put 20 litres aside in. Yeah, fuel taps are on, we've just confirmed. Cool, the caps are on as well, so yeah, so one, two, three taps are all on. Yeah. Fuel pressure is good. Flaps, so in here, We've got flapper ons, so yep. there's, there's no one stage or two stage. Is that these? Yep. Yeah. What there should be is there a little half sticker on that bar. Yeah. Yeah, half is that half. Yeah. Now. So that's half. So that's fully clean. Yeah. Half and then full. So treat them like one and two. Okay. So about there is about one stage of flap. Yeah. And then you drag flaps all the way up. Got yeah. Okay. And because it's relatively short here, we'll take half for this takeoff. Okay. Okay. Trim. Yeah, there's a little lever next to it, so we're going to fully actuate that. You may feel it moving the control column as you move it forward and aft. Maybe not, because you've not got a big RPM on. And again, you want to set neutral. Now, neutral on that is going to be at 90 degrees to that grey bar that runs to the front 90 of the 90 degrees to the grey bar, so yeah. it's about there, like that. Uh, about there, a bit further forward. Um, oh, yeah, Just have course. a feel of that, where that position is. So put your hand on them both. So put your hand on the flap lever and on the trim, on top. On top, there you go. And that'll just give you an idea of where they normally sit together. I see. And then as you introduce the flap, you can actually draw the trim back as well. And it'll balance the control forces a little bit more. Got you. Alright. Sweet. So CHT's coming up, still got a little bit to go on the oil. Mm -hmm. And awareness and briefing, really. So we're going to take off 2.5, which as he said is along there. Wish that kid would walk out in front of the plane like that. And then we're going to take off towards the turbines. Left turn, over top, up, up towards the northwest. Okay. Uh, sweet. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Cool. So in the, I'll, I mean, I'm happy for you to taxi take off. Okay. Um, it rotates when it comes off the floor. Okay, so as you start introducing the power, just start to squeeze back on the controls. And the idea is we want to just ease the weight on the nose reel and she'll yeah, fly yeah. when she's ready. Okay. okay, don't drag her into the air. Yeah. Looking for about 65 knots on the way out because flap limited and this is 66. Yeah. Um, so, but it's only half stage anyway, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, just don't start doing 80, 90 knots. No, of course. Um, and then, yeah, 300 feet, flaps away, and uh, just carry on from there. So in the event of... You mean 300 more feet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, 600 in this case. So in the event of an engine failure, I'll take control and deal with it as best I can. Okay. Right. If there's an issue, but I'm happy to continue the takeoff, I'll take control and deal with it again. It may result in us coming back to here. Roger. Um, other than that, yeah. So, okay. so uh, I'll put in a radio call. Still got a bit. Of, uh, probably got a bit on the oil to go yet, mate. Oh yeah, it's not even at fifty, is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm used to having some sky demon there. Uh, can I have a look at where we are on the? Yeah. Where, 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 just on the ground. In relation. To so we're going to taxi along here, two five, take off, left turn, pretty much over the top of the runway, and then we'll just skirt that noise abatement, and I think we'll be over that one. Okay. Um, so yeah, and then we'll we'll settle in. But I don't know. Two and a half thousand, two thousand for, for the cruise back. Uh, Take up to about two nine and yeah. warm off a bit quicker. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Sweet. Oh, do you want me to go for Kilo Sierra? Yeah. Um, Lovely. Kilo Sierra.
So welcome back folks, uh, James is uh, now in the plane in his element, it picked up on a little error um, uh, underneath the uh, cowl which was uh, the air intake, was it, on the back of the carb? Yeah, so one of the out of the plenum chamber onto the carb, yeah, so. Um, so that's all sorted, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's given me a, a briefing, uh, we've got a briefing for departure, uh, we've been through uh, all the safety checks and everything else, a bit of difference obviously between other aircraft that I've flown, so um, uh, it'll be important to ensure that obviously that's uh, taken on board and I uh, stick to a checklist which uh, I think is in, in the in rules. Um, so I'll make sure I've got that all sorted as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully a nice flight back. Should be good. Should be. <laughs> hopefully. Right, so the, like I say, the funny thing on this one is the brake as well. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's a bit awkward, you have to turn it slightly. Yeah, I, I, I think that'll feel quite natural to me, to be honest. Yeah, and then when you when you are using it, so if you're constantly using it, just keep it turned at that sort of one o'clock position. Yeah. Um, and then you won't have to, it will keep dragging and catching and stuff like that. Cool. En Engine seems a bit smoother now. Yeah, it's one You still hear that? There. I heard it before, it was a little tick, wasn't yeah. it? It was just... Every now and again, yeah. Pressure's bang on. I mean, we know it's we know it's been well looked after. So, concerns on my part. Uh, it's got a, it's got an auxiliary fuel pump. Um, I don't tend to. I certainly don't taxi with it. Uh, I don't tend to take off you with it either. Do you not? Okay. No, I mean it's again it's up to you. It's up to me taking you to do something. Um, Can I just see what effect it has when I turn it on? Yeah. So ideally, it shouldn't have any effect. There you go. That's how you know it's it's doing its job properly. Got oh, yeah. Um, but you know if if it coughs on the way out, it's the first switch that's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up to fifty, aren't we? Then we can taxi. Yeah. Perfect. I don't know what the conditions are like, so just keep it rolling. Don't let it stop. Is it? Are we radio or traffic here? Or are we? It should no. be traffic, I think. Uh, they got. This is the right frequency. One to nine. Oh yeah, it will be traffic. One to nine three zero. Uh, Oberton uh, traffic Golf uh, November India Kilo Sierra uh, taxiing to runway two five for departure. Uh, Golf Kilo Sierra. Oh, Kilo Sierra, Roger Oberton. Okay, so I'll come off the power. Right. Take the brake off, uh, and then introduce. Try and get used to having your hand on top. The reason right, okay. I say that is on undulating fields, you might accidentally go full power or close to it and stick uh, stick back when taxiing. Ideally, yeah, yeah. Like it just feels like any other plane on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> they all do, don't they? Uh, make sure we do a decent power check as well before we yeah. pile off anywhere. Just, just treat it like a soft field takeoff, really. Right. Try and lighten the nose as much as you can. Don't drag it into the air, she'll fly when she's ready. I won't go much further because that seems to be marking up a little bit. Temperatures and pressures are good, so we can go when, uh, when ready. Let's so it's not it. that one, it's that one. Oh, yeah. Just do a quick, uh, we'll get away from that caravan, I'll line up. Um, Golf uh, Kilo Sierra, uh, Oberton traffic, lining up on uh, 25. I'm just going to uh, So that's that, like that, and then twist. T and then uh, power check, okay. So, so I wouldn't go full power on it. I'll hold up on my knees and then. Make it up to about four. That'll do. We know there's power there. We'll do it on the takeoff roll. So as we introduce full power, once we, once you get to full power, we'll have a glance at the RPM gauge. Make sure we've achieved what we want to achieve. Roger. And then continue with that. So as long as we're seeing at least four eight, we'll continue the takeoff. If there's anything less than that, we'll abort and uh, bring it to a stop on the runway head. Okay. So flaps and set trim set. <coughs> These and P's are all good. Cool. Uh, wind's good. Happy. Yep. So stick neutral is roughly there. Okay. It'll feel a bit strange given the angle that the stick's at. That's about stick neutral. Like I said, don't drag it into the air. Right pedal as you would normally. See all yours. Oberton traffic, uh, Golf Kilo Sierra taking off runway 25, Oberton traffic. Uh, Kilo Sierra, roger. Was it a left turn he said on, yeah. on climate? Yeah, just before the motorway, so nice early turn. Okay. In. 
Right, full power. Continue, it's good. Start to squeeze back on the nose, you can feel it's a little bit draggy. These are good. Yep, not yet. There you go. Just relax, mate. There you go. Yeah, 60, 60, 65, 65, 65 yeah. Right. These are good. Make a gentle left there now, mate. Gentle. <laughs> uh, you need a lot of rudder, don't you? Yeah, let's say they're on. Just relax. Oh yeah, you need a lot of rudder. Okay. They weren't exaggerating. Get rid of the flaps now. Pull it forward on the one with the ball. Yeah. There you forward. go. Round to the left and head for the northwest. Last turn now, mate. Over the top. Left turn. Yep. Over the top of the airfield. your left foot a little bit, just relax. Right. Yeah. That's it. Let's let's try for 80 knots. Probably around about 4-2 on the power, a rough guess. More of a nose down pitch than I'm used to. Yeah, it'd be slightly lower than sort of the C42 and stuff. Yeah, that's Slapes clear, so if it does all go to pot, at least we know we can get somewhere near. Yeah. See, it's all just gone that way, hasn't it, really? It seems to be. Beautiful. Yeah, it's always it's interesting when it's like this, the weather, isn't it? It's uh, it's one of those, it, it always, uh, it can be a bit disconcerting sometimes. Yeah. Because it's... I mean, essentially, that, that fog is broken cloud, isn't it? Yeah. Basically. Apart from over there, where it's on the ground. So, what did he have at Dairy House? What did he say? Uh, he said it was, you could see Mal Cop, it was uh, oh, a yeah. decent cloud base, blue sky. Beautiful. That's what he said. I'd never personally write off, um, if the weather was really starting to get bad, I'd never write off just, you know, Finding a suitable field for landing. No, not at all. Uh, Force landing with, with power, isn't it? Actually, yep. weather related. Obviously, look at your other options first. But um, so we've know. got Sleaford, which is a gliding site, which is just just yeah. coming up on our right. So that's an option for us. Yeah. Where is that? Just over there, I think. Is that field? Some sheds at the left-hand side there. Well, if it's not that, that's where we go. <laughs> it's starting to feel a bit more natural now. Good. So it doesn't need a lot of rudder. No. But that little bit. That it needs, yeah. it really needs. Yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. I'm noticing, I know exactly what you're saying, mate. Right, mate. I'm so noticing that. And compared to the likes of the C42 as well, the controls won't centralise as easy. You know, they won't do it as much themselves. Yeah. So you have to be quite accurate on where you want that stick position to be. I really find it's coming into land. You know, high angles of attack, low indicated airspeed. She, she does struggle from quite a lot of adverse yaw. So if you're coming down the approach and you just start swinging on the ailerons, all you're going to get is adverse yaw. Right. So you really need to wake the feet up and use the feet down the approach. Got you. Decent side slip as well. Yeah. Yeah, you can throw away quite a lot of height. And the tanks, they feed both, don't they? You yeah, don't so there's a, there's a header tank under your seat. Got you. So they feed into the header tank and then that's the main feed into the engine. Do you tend to find one drains quicker than the other, or are they both fairly equal? Not really, no. I know some aircraft can suffer with that, depending on what the air is doing over the top of the wing and stuff. Um, what I would say is the return to tank, as I'm assuming is the same on this one, is only returns to the left-hand tank. I see. So if you do overfill it, and let's say, for example, you sat on the ground around the boost pump, there's a chance of overfilling that left tank. Understood. 
cautious as well if you do brim them this one won't be so bad because it's quite a light coloured one um, but if you brim it and leave it out in the sun it potentially starts a bit, bit fuel out the breathers oh, will it? if you leave your doors open that fuel will then track over the wing and onto the glass oh it is touch screen oh that's alright actually I don't think that's too bad no, it's good because it's the, it's the CHR as well isn't it once you figure it out too yeah. I suppose it's, uh, it's not actually that bad I need a, a suction cup or something, or it's like a clamp I can get my iPad on there as well. Or to have it on my knee, I suppose. Ideal in a, in a central stick, really, having something on your knee. No. Especially here, because yeah, it's a bit awkward. Yeah, it, it, it is, yeah, it's irritating, but uh, I've always, uh, like when I have my Eurostar, when I, when I approach an airfield and I know where I'm, I am, I'll take it off. And, yeah. then, uh, and then I've got my, my hand. So, yeah, that's one of the things you'll find the straps roll off your shoulders. So just put a bit of elastic to join them behind your head. That's a good idea, as well. T's and P's look okay, a bit cold on the oil perhaps. That's what I mean, and that's, that's the flap fully closed, you know. Right. Full Toronto Echo, good pilot, going downwind, separately. Can I try her a little bit faster? Yeah, go for it. Just uh, take her up to about 4,600. See where she's comfortable, just get a feel for that. Four six there, and then it's down. That's settled. She's doing about 90 knots, 92 knots. Nothing's too bad. Pumps a little bit of left rudder. Okay. Be a bit of right at high power setting. No, it seems to it's be probably because you see how the wings aren't oh, quite yeah, level. They are now, yeah. See yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, you're right. So that's what I mean about you, you have to positively put the controls where you want them. And just look out the window, don't look at any of this. Keep the wings level. <coughs> bit of a uh, bit of cloud here, so. Yeah. There might be a bit of murk as we get towards Ashcroft. A bit of low cloud maybe, but uh, it's legal. But worst case, we have to go to sleep for a, a brunch. Yeah. I've had worse days. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is, a, this is the low ground here, loggerheads. Uh, normally, when I go this way, I'll go around uh, Longford, around the paragliding. Okay. I tend to find it when, when it's a bit but claggy like this. It tends to click. It, it's about here where it tends to yeah. tends to stick. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll go around. I'll go around the way I would normally go. Sweet. Um, and uh, well, sure Shawbury's Zone's not active today anyway, as far as I'm aware. So no point in speaking to them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're open on a Sunday. So, fuels are looking good, radio's good, temperatures and pressures are all good, direction, we know where we're going. That seems to correlate. Just under 2000, beautiful. should have seen this trip I went on down to the Isle of Wight. Um, is that when you went ago. with Gary? Was that that one? No, no, oh, it, one. Was it, was, it was on the last ones I did in Megs, it was about July. Right. And it was... Um, oh, um, is that when you got the Seven Shades kicked no. out of you? Was that that one? Yeah, the, 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 no, the, the, uh, the weather, the oh. rain, I've never flown to anything like it. <laughs> it was a learning curve, bloody hell. <laughs> we got pushed all the way to, uh, uh, to Bryce and that ended up having to go over Bryce Norton. Uh, which was pretty cool, um, and then uh, I couldn't see a hand on front of her face, and then uh, and then we ended up. Where did we go then? Uh, Popham. We had we landed at Popham instead of our initial plan, which was um, Charlton Park, right. which is a nice place. You've been in there? Never been there. No, I've only ever been down that way once, and that was to pick uh, Cronin's one up. Nice. That was down near Gloucester, wasn't it? Somewhere. Yeah, Chilton Park. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one, yeah, it's not far from Kemble, it's yeah. a little hop. I was bringing the aircraft back, it was a Eurofox back from 
it was Glens actually, it was bringing it back from the factory to Russell and I got to like Birmingham, Coventry Way and it was just like a wall of rain <laughs> thinking, oh god, so I was speaking to, speaking to um, Birmingham and he's like, yeah, it's not going to work mate, you're not, gonna <laughs> you're not getting through so I ended up going to Stoke Golding oh yeah, literally 10 minutes, gone, perfectly clear had a mint trip back, lovely and it, and it feels comfortable at that, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't feel like you're ragging it. No, it doesn't at all. What did you used to cruise at in the C-42? Uh, well, it was way off. Uh, it was probably around about this airspeed, I would say. Um, but I'd be, it, to get that airspeed, I'd, I'd be about 400 RPM. Or I'd, be about four, I'd, I'd cruise about 4.8 yeah. in, in that. Um, on a smooth day. Otherwise, about 4.5. Yeah. But I suppose it's the same with this. On a, on a, on a really smooth, clear day, you'd probably... Cruise a bit, you know, you can com comfortably cruise up to about 4.8, 4.9, can't you yeah. really? When I, I've offered, if I've needed to get back, I'll sit by in 110, 115 knots. Yeah. I know it's on the chart here, the calibrated airspeed and the indicated. And, yeah. And they're a little bit off, so really, where we are at the minute, showing 85 knots uh, indicated, we're only really doing 76, aren't we? Yeah. So we're not breaking any land speed records at the moment. Given that, it looks like we've got about 20 on the nose as well. Yeah. Does everyone in a Eurofox sit like that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a standard? <laughs> it's what we teach. <laughs> Normally we've got a coffee and a cake. <laughs> No, it's, I, I tend to sit, take off and land in, I'll just sit there with my hand there, ready to, if I need it. Yeah, got you. It'll be your feet that you need to wake up in this one. Yeah. Certainly be quicker than Emma's drive home anyway. I know, that's true. Especially the way she drives as well. <laughs> She'll kill me when she watches this. <laughs> I might average out your drive down though. Well, I suppose. <laughs> It just looked like another one of the aircraft ones, didn't it? But for the benefit of the people watching, there's a little sticker we've just spotted. It says, on good days you're the dog, on bad days you're the tree. <laughs> you happy? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it should be fine. It's, uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. Sleep's over there. If we yeah. can't get there, we'll go there. Plus there is long for doing that little strip as well. I think it's one of those that your visibility moves as is, is you get close That's to it, it yeah. doesn't it? Got a full rainbow there now. Oh yeah, flying through the rainbow. That's it. I think that could be a video type. Yeah. <laughs> It's almost full circle actually, you can almost just see it oh, coming down. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Wow. Never seen that before. I suppose you won't get that perspective unless you're in the air, will yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it kind of looks like it's coming underneath us as well. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Cool. Yeah, it looks fine, actually. It's a little bit murky, but it's... Um, it's not it's not that bad it's the biz is still like you know six seven k no more <laughs> what's that well, that doesn't look great does it <laughs> might put in a quick uh call to dairy house traffic uh golf uh, november india kilo sierra just wondering if you're active and what the present conditions were Golf Bravo Echo at Dairy House, uh, currently on final for 30 Woodstar Light, variable from the west. Uh, Roger, thank you very much, uh, Golf uh, Kilo Sierra, thank you. What he didn't say was, it's 300 feet and raining. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be through it in a minute. Oh no, we're getting wet inside. Yeah, so it tends to hook round the door. Ah, uh, right. It's worse on this side, I always find. A bit worse up on the prop. Oh, it's just the way the air's going around and whipping in there. Some are better than others, it depends on the fit of the door really. 
Um, I just did, uh, get, uh, stay about this height, I think. Yeah. I'm happy about here. the circuit you know at Ashcroft. Okay. Um, approach speed really depends on the wind. Uh, really light winds if you're fairly light, 50 to 55, certainly no less than 50 at any point. Um, if it's a bit snottier, you know, 55 to 60. I like to say, just use your feet. But just feel it down. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not as steep an approach as a, as a C42. Or you're a star for that matter. It'll feel, you know, you'll keep thinking I'm too long, too low, but you'll be all right. I prefer a steep approach anyway. Yeah, uh, sorry, I prefer yeah, a, yeah, shallow a, a shallow approach. Yeah. Um, uh, I tend to, but uh, some of the strips I go into, when they, when they, because they tend to be quite short, so a shallow approach is always more desirable, I think. Yeah, you're a lot, you know, at your stage, it's a lot more achievable using a powered approach to put it exactly where you want to do it. If it's coming on the glide approach steeper, you're probably not as accurate as you would be as if you were using power. How high is Ashcroft? Uh, 150, so Good, good wind take off. five off. I better uh, put a call in, I'll put that on that and you'll watch it and I'll put a call into Ashcroft, let them know. Ashcroft Cafe Kickoff, uh, November India Kilo Sierra, uh, inbound from the south, approximately three miles to run. You just let me know if you want me to take it, mate. No, I've got you. I'll take this off, though. Yep, you know where you are. Okay. I do. Go on, I've got it. I got it, bro. Oh, yeah. No, I'm pretty happy. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm happy now. I've got my knee back. <laughs> Uh, there's uh, Beeston, you can see Beeston. There's that, so Ashcroft is around here somewhere. Uh, uh, just on the nose of the right there, got it there, yeah, that's the one. I want to take a look at the windsock, but I think it's more than likely going to be 2 7 or, yeah, 2 7 would be the safer bet with, with regard to ground. Uh, um, is, that the lit, is that the lit one? Yeah. Right. Beautiful. Just starting to roll in a bit, isn't it? Yeah. I think any later we might have an issue. I reckon it's brew time when we land, you think? Absolutely. First, before anything. Yeah, 2.7 looks good. Yeah, that's good to me. 
get when you're you descending on the dead side for Ashcroft, is you just don't over by the farm, that's all. Yeah. It's not really like a, a fixed pattern or anything. Uh, Ashcroft traffic, uh, Golf, Kilo, Sierra, overhead, uh, descending on the dead side for runway 27. Ashcroft traffic. What I'd say is get everything under control relatively early, okay? So start slowing that airspeed down. Okay. I suggest sort of 60 knots in the circuit. Okay, All 60 right. knots in the circuit. Yeah. That way you can introduce flaps as and when required. I tend to teach half on the downwind and full flap when you commit to landing. Ashworth traffic, uh, Golf Kilo Sierra, downwind, 27, Ashworth traffic. Just, just bring in the half flap there, half flap here, yeah? Just watch for the pitch change. Yeah, look ahead as you do it, that way you'll see the pitch yeah, change. I've helped it go down yeah. the nose, Good. yeah. It's a pitch change, yeah? Yeah. So as you introduce that half flap, just squeeze a bit back on the trip and that'll, can that'll cancel out. I see. There you go, sweet. This way you're going to need to wake your feet up, alright? Roger. So less on the other one, more on the rudder. About we need about 55, don't we? 55 to 60, yeah. There's not, you know, there's no harm coming in a bit hot today. Uh, and then once you're happy, you can commit, blow the nose, and introduce full flat. Find it easier to pull on full trim as well, just to alleviate some of the stick force. But I'll let you play with that. Good. I don't know what it holds at that. Shouldn't be far off. It's all yours unless I say otherwise, alright? Roger. So, feet, feet, feet. Do you know what I mean? I do. So let's say they're on four rudder. Bit of sink there. That's nice. Remember, look through here, okay? That's your centre line. Roger. That's good. Now just keep that power on because that's what's getting us home, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep that power on. Keep it on. Stop moving the stick. Use your feet. Stick neutral there. Use your feet now. There you go, see? Good. Lovely, mate. Good. Nose down, chop the power. Don't let it land. Feet, feet, feet. Feet, feet, feet. See? Right rudder. Not bad. Now, gently, gently. So, that big input on the floor there, yeah. we didn't actually have nose wheel steering at that point. Yeah. So you've got to be cautious of that. With that, okay. that nose wheel then was actually slipping sideways. Got you. So just be cautious of that, okay? Okay, I understand. And you see how much you need to use your feet compared to the other one coming down the approach? Yes, I do. Uh, I just went for the... Uh, What's the steering lock like on it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it? Let's try it then. Uh, I just went for the, what do you want to call it, the, um, uh, what's it called? What did I go for? I went for the toe brakes. Oh, okay, got okay, okay. <laughs> you. Uh, so it flaps away. Cup of tea? Yes, good idea. Cool. Awesome. That was real. Cheers, James. Always, mate. She's home. Mmm. That's all that matters. I don't think power is too bad either. No, you're absolutely fine. Like I say the main thing is, is wake your feet up. Yeah. Uh, and everyone's the same. It becomes, it becomes very clear very quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, yeah. Like, even around. on takeoff, it was yeah, yeah, it was it was very like oh, hang on, okay. Because like, you you don't really understand until uh, you know people say to you oh you've got to use a lot of rudder, but you don't understand until you've actually tried it. Yeah.